It's called uh, multitasking. I just wanted to uh, give an update as to some of the things that have come about as a result of uh, our time with the uh, COM, uh, Seattle City Church COMs, um, and our walk back through Beacon Hill. Um, just right off the bat, starting uh, next to it, um, we uh, uh, were with Pastor Regina, of course, and and a question was asked about the church's historic relationship with Asa Mercer, which it has had and so forth. And she talked a little bit about the, the fact that there's always congestion at the back of, uh, or just outside of uh, the church when the school gets out, because that's where uh, many of the buses pull up, etc. And that there's just a, a lot of room for volunteering and, and attempting to, uh, in the chaos of that, to be a ministry. And several things came from that discussion. One of which was just, you know, what about opening up the church during for an hour and, and having lay people uh, be there so the kids have a place to, to go and to be and to relax. And uh, Beyond that, we talked uh, at length about, because a lot of churches have had different kinds of experiences with just uh, hosting a school and uh, getting close to its leadership and staff and principal and uh, parent teachers organization. There's lots of ways that a church can assist and for example, hosting and providing uh, pastries or, or whatever for our food, even um, uh, drinks, etc. for when the teachers gather uh, for their meetings at the beginning of the year or parent teachers uh, conferences uh, and also some of their gifting programs for students who are in need. Um, there's just always ways to volunteer and to be helpful. Uh, then of course we, we moved on and, and we went past the RV park. And one of the interesting things that, that came out of that is just a discussion of the difference uh, between um, the various kinds of uh, homeless encampments that are growing up. Um, and uh, the one next to the church there is just blended in and you'd hardly know it's there if you weren't looking carefully, but they, for uh, months on end, have taken care of their little section there. And there's only about five or six or seven uh, RVs there, but they're there regularly. Uh, they have a relationship with Pastor Regina and just ways that we can support that. One of the things that came out of it was just the formation of a community on mission out of West Seattle. And one of the first ideas is that we're going to create a book club or we with somebody who did an RV experience in, in homelessness. And uh, evidently there's a movie made about it, so we're going to do a book club around that, do a learning curve, and then I understand if the movie is as good as they say it is, we're going to do a, a movie for our neighbors and for our church. And, uh, and just as an educational kind of experience. Then we moved into the uh, uh, the food forest for Beacon Hill. Incredible, just uh, the number of different ethnic uh, focuses on food and the way that they are gifting that food and the whole experience. Uh, again, uh, we have been connected at uh, WSCN uh, to uh, host uh, a work day. Uh, everyone is welcome uh, and love to have you uh, because they can use a lot of uh, volunteers and you would see that under uh, communities on mission if you go there you'll see the there's lots of places to volunteer in that anyway uh, you know I could talk a lot on these but um, definitely wanted to say thank you for um, Especially even being in our in our community, and, and to also realize uh, some of the things that I, I uh, that I missed about our uh, community, uh, Beacon Hill, and it's definitely has sparked something of of getting back to just volunteering and what that looks like, and so uh, definitely you know huge blessings all around, and looking forward to continually. Um, working alongside you, uh, as well as uh, within our church family in West Seattle to uh, keep working in our uh, communities and, and ministry. And we moved on around the corner and, and the Pastor Regina explored with us the beginning of a relationship with a, a woman by the name of Caitlin who seems to have her, her hands on the Beacon Hill community and uh, ministering in that community. and. Uh, so we wanted to just learn and experience uh, through her eyes um, the beginning of a relationship that will uh, create opportunities as we all go forward. Finally, we made our way back to the playground 
purposely chose the playground because I wanted us to see um, and have a visual of a community that just comes together quite naturally and all the ways we could engage uh, parents and their kids, caregivers and their kids, grandma and grandpas and their kids um, by just being present um, and, and uh, opening our churches up perhaps. That's an area where that, like the play space ideas, et cetera, where uh, we need to be thinking not about so much of the old missional program of picking kids up and bringing them to church as we do engaging uh, parents and kids in ways that make the world, the community, the larger community, a meaningful and uh, sacred and awesome space. I just want to thank you for inviting us to uh, meet with you and the rest of the uh, folks about missions. Um, you guys have a lot of stuff going on up here. And the garden, just walking around the park was got my mind going uh, on so many different things that I want to even bring back to our church. Thanks to everyone who was involved today. I really took away something from each of you. Um, some of us, or I'm assuming most of us, have family that live out in this area. So whatever prayers that we give to the city are really, really important and just keeping one another in mind. Um, no matter where we worship, it's nice to just come together again. Bye. Oh wait, that's video. Uh, finally, uh, we didn't get there because we ran out of time, but um, I would encourage you to go by and just drive down on the east side of Beacon Avenue alongside the uh, driving range there and the uh, golf course. You will see in the midst of that affluence, you will see uh, a tent city growing. And uh, uh, we, talk, we did not get to talk about, but I, we need to begin thinking about ways we can engage these uh, tent communities that are not organized um, to help uh, in terms of uh, uh, just whatever needs. First of all, taking the time to get to know people. And secondly, uh, just uh, making uh, a mission of presence where it's appropriate. May God bless you and thank you for participating and look forward to our next one in uh, Wallingford slash uh, UW area.